So welcome guys in the uh, very first episode of High Stakes Spins. Uh, today, together with FCD player. Hello guys. Uh, and Michael, we're going to be reviewing his uh, game that he pinged a uh, 10kx multiplier on 15th. Uh, so for the first prize, it's 120,000 United States dollars, which <laughs> equals in brand new Porsche, I guess. Somewhere in that region, so yeah, definitely quite a few dollars to spend on nice payday. Yeah, on, <laughs> on the uh, sweet sweet things. So I I think we can uh, start the review uh, from now on. All right, sure, let's do it. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to review it to be honest. First hand seven just yeah. off, like okay, that's not the uh, best hand <laughs> when you're playing for 120k. <laughs> Uh, queen Jack suited. Yeah, yes. not fold. Yeah, exactly. Min racing there looks extremely standard. Folding six do suited on the uh, button. Perfect. Okay, here's a uh, decision. Decisions. FCD, what do you think about uh, going for an all in uh, in here? Given I time. think all in free bet is rather better. Uh -huh. Maybe if I would go for non all in free bet, I would go for like very committing free bet. So maybe some recreational players might make a mistake by calling and folding on the flop. So for example, here sizing 390 uh -huh. would be probably a little bit better than just free bet shove. But in my opinion, free bet like 100 or 110 should achieve a little bit worse expectation than showing. Yeah. But of course, it's it's always an option. It, yeah. Every, everything is, is fine with this screen. Yeah, I fully agree on going for the uh, stop and go. Although I get the feeling that on 10kx multipliers, a uh, population of players won't make as many mistakes to that play uh, that they would do in, let's say, the uh, standard lowest multiplier. So here, uh, yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> I agree with free bet jamming, simply with X Queen. We get a call. Okay, we bring the ace, that's so good, that's a good oh. always. Pocket nines, okay, that's a good start. Oh, a 150 good. almost in the pocket. <laughs> yeah. Michael, how you felt when you, when you won that flip? Like, kind of wait, 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 wait a second, buddy, I'm not exactly sure about that fault, especially in game with so high multiplayer, mm -hmm. I think it should be limp. Yeah, fully agreed. Mm -hmm. Big blind probably will not risk his stack with, let's say, mediocre hands, so his isolation will not be as big to um, fault 10 deals from the small hands, so it should be it should be limp and stand on the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I fully agree, fully agree on that yeah. one. Okay, same story. Can we hold? Yes, we can. All right, two to one and a heads up for a hundred twenty. Bam. For the beginning. Yeah, that's good. Come on, metal dear. Show us what you got. <laughs> Uh, obviously, limping with that hand makes perfect sense, although given uh, the fact that we are playing for so, so, so much money and we get uh, 2 to 1 at this point, what do you guys think about uh, min raising here? Extending our min raising range, basically. I do agree with you personally. I think min raising should be way better in mm -hmm. that particular game. Yeah, yeah, I also get that feeling. Like, in a standard game, I totally wouldn't mind limping here, right? But. Mm, then again, here, I don't expect his free bet jamming range to be even close as wide as it would be in standard normal game. So why not go for a, for a min race? Also, people are gonna fold versus C bets way too honest uh, in such a high multiplier. So for these two reasons, basically, going for min race pre here. Yeah, exactly. In that case, it's not even an expectation, it's like certain thing. Mm -hmm. Agreed, agreed. 
Okay, he folded out of the small land, which is good. <coughs> and very big eyes on him. I very would, big, yeah. I would think twice before calling here. Yeah. Even though it takes seven. Yeah, me too. Oh, actually, first of all, this hand gonna be extremely dominated when we are calling. That's one thing. Second thing is that uh, he, we got three hands already in, right? He folded once on the small blind. Uh, then he folded instantly to a uh, stab and limped pot, which is, uh, yeah, that gives us some implication that he won't go really crazy on us. And to be honest, calling here looks like a standard in here, but in a case of such a high multiplier, I guess we could argue for a fault here. Yeah, <clears throat> definitely. Mm -hmm. To try board to do something, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hard to float there. I... Yeah. Okie dokie, seven and three for link. Cool. Yeah. I think that was too much. Hmm, I don't think it's 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 too much. It's it's fine for me. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, I mean, I like this sizing as well. Uh-huh. Yeah, cool. Smaller size would be a mistake. What was the hand? I I mean, next hand. Oh, next one, sir. Okay, okay five years. That's fine. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure why, but it looks like Hat um, doesn't go forward. It's probably not set for um, the time of the hand. Uh -huh. Yeah, you should, but you should click here. Good point. Yeah. Good point. Options. Uh, oh no. Show, no, no. Oh, it's actually it is. So probably there is um, only a deal. Yeah. Let's keep going. Okay, so we defended King this uh, pseudo, which is perfectly fine versus the mini race. It goes check check on the flop. Mm -hmm. uh, the sizing of a lid is biggish in my mind. I'd rather keep it small just to make sure that Ace X's are calling at this point, going for like 45 here. Yeah, to be honest, I would even think versus better player, I would think about check calling more yeah. than betting versus recreational player. Uh, I think as just mentioned 45 would be perfect mm -hmm. to keep his access in his calling range. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh Jesus, that's painful. Oh, yes. That's painful. <laughs> Oh. But let's go back to the uh, decision on the river. Uh, is if jamming is like best in here, uh, in your opinion, uh, just from the perspective of the time? Yeah, that's the question. So, in my opinion, he might easily fold nine x in uh, such game. Plus, even probably is able to fold a weak flash draw from time to time. So I would bet smaller on the river. Our hand is very good, but unfortunately it's not uh, a nuts and there are still plenty of better hands in this range, so it's better to bet smaller. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, at this point in my mind, like range-wise, we are targeting Queen X's uh, and that's the main part of his range that we want to take a value. If we're going to jam, Queen X's are going to be folding. And if that's the case, yeah, I like going for a smaller bet on the river for sure. Around uh, 95, 105. Yeah, we, we are targeting 9 axes and some worse pleasures. Yeah. 95, 120, something like that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it ends up being a cooler, but yeah, not much we can do over here. Just grind it back. Okay. Uh, let's see his civil stand. It was 100 so far and zero on the turn. 
So on that structure, I would think about floating yeah. even with no, no structure number. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say that floating here is extremely tempting. So there are a lot of cards on the turn higher than nine. So his second barrel will be lower, plus most of them hits our calling range. For example, Jack, Queen, even 10. So mm -hmm. it's perfectly fine to float here. And then would you bet on the river? Would be Jack. Uh, it would probably go uh, check check sure. on the turn given the uh, uh, given what's going on in his stats so far. So then, yeah, firing on the river with smallish sizing gonna be perfectly fine. Yeah, firing on the river is only got way, of course, after yeah. floating. Okay. That's the main reason of floating. Uh, here preflop kind of the same story. I would just keep uh, my uh, foot to the gas right now with min raises all the time basically. As I mentioned for the reason that we are playing for so much money and his first of all defending range gonna be neater than usual and second the free bet jump gonna be extremely honest. So yeah. for these two reasons I'm gonna be min raising uh, these hands for sure. I got nothing to add. Yeah. Here, free Xing. Um, too much. I don't know if that's too much, to be honest. In it's, game, it's not that bad, of course. Yeah, in game, I would bet 85 in here, but that's kind of cosmetics. Yeah, I would bet also exactly 85. Mm -hmm. Hey, we min raised with 4A. That's <laughs> Okay, ace and an ace, that's good. Mm -hmm. Half pot, um, definitely fine. 160, 180. I love it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, that's fine. All right, accordingly to new charts, um, I think it's should be shown. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the only, it's also fine. Maybe even it's better in uh, such multiplayer because I don't expect him to call to link call even with Ace Nine probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's true. Mean raising. Okay, I'd rather go for a small C button here. Just to take down the pot, don't let him realize too much of a equity. Versus some yeah. more capable opponents, I totally don't mind checking and firing twice on turn and river, because they're gonna understand ranges and they will see us checking on such a dry structure, most likely trapping with king axis, in my mind. But here, we don't know too much uh, versus that guy, we don't have too much info basically. So, yeah, I'm just stabbing here and taking down the pot, not letting him realize equity. I perfectly agree. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, checking versus population is a pretty big mistake. Yeah. Hmm, well, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, range-wise, we probably should be calling, but my gut feeling here, given the multiplier and how he's playing so far, I would be folding that in-game, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. I'm also towards falling. Mm -hmm. So range-wise, call is perfectly fine. But in that multiplayer, I don't think you would bluff with such sizing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But let's see. Check back. Check and the check. All right. Ugh. That's that's pretty helpful info. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I used it. So you did a bluff, and not only a bluff, but with bluff with a big sizing. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Check, bet, call. Cool. Yeah, cool. cool. Let him bluff. Check. Check. And check. Bet 71. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's, that's the hand when you should bet bigger and fall to his race. So 130 or something like that should be better here. 
of course versus better opponent you will not get value but versus just a random guy you definitely can get more value by getting bigger than 71 and after this shot your life is much easier yeah yeah so betting like 125 here and holding to a gem or the option second option that i have in my head is to check and let him fire and then we can comfortably call what do you think? Yeah, yeah that, that's, a, that's also a good option, but he bluffed in previous hand, so probably it's less likely. Okay, yeah. He'll do it once it. again. But who knows? It depends how. It, de it depends on how he thinks. Yeah. So these two options, either go for a bigger bet there and, or a check, check, uh, check call, yeah. Love that. Yeah. 3A. Okay, you adjusted and started min raising. Cool. That's good. Of course, from some time it should be checked back from the big bank, but in previous charts it was closed, so isolation is fine. Mm -hmm. With his 83 BPIP, I would, I would rather check back, but still it's very close. Yeah. Do you think I should have bet on the flop? Uh, to be honest with you, I would say rather yes, because. Uh, I don't expect him on such a structure to just blindly fire as a bluff. And if that's the case, I want to take the value from Queen X's, Jack X's, 10 X's, and Flash Zeros at this point. Rather than just see them check back. And how much would you make it? Uh, kind of smallish, around 50. That would be my size okay. in here. Let's see what yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe even a little bit bigger. Uh huh, like 60. Yeah, 60 is fine. 50 is also perfectly fine, of course. Also, checking isn't a big mistake, in my opinion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, it's probably, it has probably very close expectation to bet, mm -hmm. small bet. Cool. Okay. Okay. Check call all the time, of course, is played, and check call on the river, I think. Yeah. Come to Papa 150. Cool. Yeah. All right, not the worst board for us. Yeah. I'm thinking about smaller uh, Sibet 75-80 to let him um, make a mistake. Yeah, leave either, him some for that. Yeah, exactly. Either float or go for bluff race here. The yeah. half pot is a little bit too big. I had exactly the same number in my head, 85. <laughs> so yeah, slightly, slightly smaller in here. Okay then. Uh, you see, the min raises works perfectly fine versus here, like we talked at the very yeah. beginning. Mm -hmm. Depending on check A suited super standard. 65, sure, let's see. Call me all day long. Mm, not check. the best turn in attack, but let's see. Maybe we'll get to a showdown, it was check, check. Mm -hmm. 120, ah. That's a nice spot, because I, I think in that particular game, it's worth to race here. Or yeah. because yeah. I, I think it's worth to race because he will not call with ace or even ace-jack, ace-queen, ace-king most of the time. Of course, he doesn't have ace-king, but ace-jack, ace-queen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or just, just a pure ace. Sure. The problem the problem is we don't really know if he would bet an ace in that scenario, so um, let's think about it a little bit longer. To be honest with you, I don't think that he's betting ace axes too much of the time, and that's, uh, that's the point that where I'd rather just click call on the river. Call on the river? Yeah. 
Yeah, because I don't think that he's bad folding ace axes here. I mean, he's not betting them out, uh, after all. So I kind of see that opponent rather in that multiplier just uh, checking with ace axes. Yeah, I I can't care. Uh -huh. That's that's great point. So you don't think he could have a ten in his range? Uh, obviously he will have some ten axes, but. First of all, he went for a min rate three, right? So he don't have uh, like the weakest ten axis uh, in his range. That's for sure. Uh, like combo wise, uh, I don't think that he will have too 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 many ten axes. And the calling here gonna be fine. Okay. Yeah, we need only twenty three percent. Yeah. Okay. All right, nothing to do here. Mm -hmm. Seven three, just check folding on the flop. Yeah. Queen ten, face a non all in three bet. And oh, that's it's nasty. Not fault. That's nasty, but yeah, it is. Yeah. I like it. Open jam, okay. That's fine. Oh, sorry, what about that? It was a limp. Um, yeah. His free bet so far is 8%, so it's obligatory min raise with King 9. I just mean raising for value all day long here as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. Here, the sizing with King Queen, uh, I see that you like it. I'd rather go smaller. Yeah, I would, go, I would go a little bit smaller, like 100 or 110. Very similar situation to Pocket Jaxxus. Mm -hmm. Should have been raised that. Yeah. The answer is yes. Is yeah. actually his fault to see that is pretty low. I was just... Sorry, Karen. Hmm. Maybe with that that low fault to see that I think uh, Lev is also fine. What do you think, Gumbo? Uh, that's close-ish. To be honest with you, I'd rather keep our preflop strategy and here in this very spot go for a delay. Uh, given the fact that he's not folding versus C bets. Yet, in a such a high multiplier, again, the uh, probe percentage won't be as high as a normal game. And I don't expect him to use uh, and the leverage of like any uh, bricked uh, seabed to justify probing extremely wide versus us at this point of a game. So, yeah, I would just keep me raising free and argue for delay <coughs> a lot of structures like that. Okay, we should still keep in mind that he bluffed in the last delayed seabed. Good point, yeah. Mm -hmm. Eight nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe he will not do it again. Five six. Oh, what was that? That's five, six. Good. Yeah, five six. It should be a different for sure. Mm hmm. <clears throat> and mini raising here with Jack 8. Stubbing is standard, of course. Monotone board, tons of fold liquidity. Yeah, standard. Yeah. Oh, All right, whoa. Limbs. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, Michael, what are we having here? <laughs> you fasten your seatbelt so hard in here. 120k? Sure, I'm gonna fucking jam in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> 75,000 on the day <laughs> in King 6 <laughs> Michael got a heart I mean to be honest I would shit in my pants rather than just jamming here I like checking back here I like checking back way more than jamming I, I think considering his VPIP 
um, below 20 big blinds, Dave, it's very likely he has started to open almost any two. So for me, it's perfectly fine to shove. Okay. okay. Of, of course, checking back expectations should also be fine. But versus that particular guy, I think showing uh, is the nuts here. Okay, okay. Cool, I like that we are sticking to the uh, mini raises. Check and the check. Cool beans. Not that on that board. I would say no, versus, because he's not falling versus Seabets at all. It's going to be hard for us to barrel. I'd rather move our bet to a uh, turn and go for a delay here. Yeah, definitely. That's probably the only, the only, um, yeah, the only good option. Mm -hmm. 144. Not much we can do versus that sizing. Mm -hmm. And here, uh, given how the game is going, he probed two times already after uh, our checkbacks. I kind of like uh, checking here and letting him fire. What do you think about that? I'm also checking back like all the time versus same and calling probably twice. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, especially on the structure. If he's so the main, yeah, the main point is we've got Pocket Jack, so there aren't many over cards in his range. Actually, after this flat, there's probably only a king that might cut some of our equity. It's pretty drawish, but it's still good because we'll get value from his draws on the turn and we'll get additional information um, about what missed or not. So it's better to check back in that scenario. Would you bet again on that ace? As played? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah bet take value from draws and check back rivers. Mm -hmm. yeah. 144. I'm snap calling here. Not thinking twice. Yeah. Aces, alright! Oh, yeah, so, so big eyes. Yeah, too big of an eyes. 145 here. Because I made the big eyes, eh? I thought I could play. Whoa! No. I thought I could play big! It's so sick, he's not falling here, King X, probably. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Without the draw. True, true. Decising here is way too big, Michael. Yeah. Yeah, but still we can't blame you. It's, it's like... 150 on the table. Sure, yeah, when you're playing in a hit of the moment, it's like, I'm gonna pot it, I'm gonna pot it, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, like, realistically, going for a... <laughs> let me right, think so about three, it. Would you make it about one free five? Uh, even smaller than that, to be honest, considering how much uh, chips are in the pot at this point. I'd go for 105, and that will give us pot size bet on turn. Okay. You mean on the fold? Yeah. Yeah, and, on, and in the pre fold, it probably it should be between 135, 150, mm -hmm. or even 120, isn't a mistake, I think. Yeah, what but bigger setting should be better. Yeah. And then, so you. Yeah, just a, li a little bit too big on the flop, that's for sure. And I, I would go for 160, 170, but. 105 is also fine, as just mentioned, it's still what size on the turn. Yeah. Okay, we face the free bet turn, which is unfortunate, but yeah, our min raising strategy works so far, so I wouldn't really change that. Mm hmm, that's cool. Uh, he fires a ton, I. yeah. I was about That's to say cool. That. I love it. Yeah, uh, I love it as well. Mm -hmm. Queen X, check. And he, was, yeah, he wasn't barreling turns. That's 
also crucial um, true. during during that decision. True, true, true. I I lost the grazing here. We went check check on turn, which is perfectly fine. A six, okay, and we are in check calling mode on the river. Oh, interesting that he didn't find a bunker oh. bed. So sure, sure, he should fire a tile on the turn. Yeah. So if he's not finding a value bed in here. Then when we're gonna go back and our mind to that ace x hand, you remember that when we were yeah, doubling between yeah. calling on the river when the x uh, ace x failed on the uh, straight ish board, we had jack x over there if I remember correctly. Then yeah, if we saw that hand, then I'm definitely calling over there. Mm. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, that 10 7 actually is a little bit worse than King 6, but definitely you should check out your um, isolation frequency. So let's see it here. Could you see the sample? Here, here. Uh, or just six. the general one. It's, yeah, the general one. It was 11. Yeah, it's 11. And all in. So you isolated him 13 times and his limp was 90. So your isolation here is like 75% in his heart or something like that. Unfortunately, with that information, 10-7 isn't good enough to get in. Probably I would think about shopping over his mini raises with that high isolation, yeah. but checking back even checking back even King Jack in that scenario. Maybe King Jack is too good at this tax death, but our isolation is too high. Yeah at this point. Agreed, agreed. King Jack I'm still gonna be jamming pre to be honest, but yeah exactly what FCB said, definitely taking the uh these stats into consideration and here that's gonna be just allowed to light in my mind. <laughs> seven. Oh, seven, no good. Oh. seven, no good. Oh, come on, you bring uh, 15 k anyway, right? Yeah. So yeah, I mean, hard to argue with. Yeah, yeah. and you were playing great. I I think there <laughs> there wasn't a horrible mistake or something like that. Yeah, totally agree. Just fixing uh, some sizings here and there, but besides that, yeah, really good game, you know? Yeah, yeah. good game. Buddy. I'm happy. Yeah, really, really good game. Okay, so that was the very first episode. Thanks for coming up, boys. Thanks, FCD. Thanks, Michael, for showing uh, the hand history with us. And that's it. Me. Yeah, yeah. Stay tuned for... Thank you, guys.